I have got the nose stapled on. I just pulled it over here. Stuck a staple in there, staple staple in there. I'll staple it some more as I go. But now I just wanted to start gluing as I come along. I just got any PVA glue is what they recommend. So that's what Elmer's glue is. Even though you're not in school anymore, it's still good for something. PVA glue. <laughs> That's what the Russians say to use. Potentially there's something better nowadays, I don't know, but this works, so I'm just going to use this. As I come along here, I want to stretch it nice and tight. my way down the down the hide I got the glue spread on under there Too much glue here, not quite enough glue there. Staple in all the way, let's pull it out. Working our way down, keeping it straight as I can on the be real fun to try these out I hope you guys make yourselves a pair Alright, so I got the uh, skis, the 
the furs glued on and now I've put them back in their forms in order to let them dry uh, so that when the hides tighten up they don't do it bend or warp the uh, the skis so closer look here Try to get all the bubbles out of the hides as you go. Get them stretched nice and tightly. And we'll let that dry. See where we're at. So, I'm going to drill holes, two holes on each side. Preferably, you want them to not be in a straight line so that the uh, it doesn't go with the grain of the wood and cause it to split so I put them at a bit of a angle like this on each side as you can see I lined up the boots and I'm gonna do about the same here this one a little closer and this one closer to the edge <coughs> Closer here, closer to the edge. Alright, you got there. Now, of course, this is balanced so that the front is heavier. I mean, the back's heavier, obviously. So, uh, now we'll drill our holes here and put in our bindings. So as you can see, we got the first one in. What I'm using here is, it's about a 42 inch long, inch and a half piece of leather. And then I'm trimming off a half inch and we'll use this. Uh, so, well roughly a half inch. It's okay to eyeball it. And these are just barely long enough. So you're better off with a few inches longer. You'd be safe, but these are 42 inch long strips of leather. <clears throat> Alright. We got this. I'll drill these holes and feed them through like so. So nothing to it here. <clears throat> Halfway. This will ultimately be somewhat adjustable the size of your toe, of course, for your boot. These boots, it'll be roughly like so. But I think with most of my boots, it'll be a little smaller. And then I face this bend forward like that. 
so that it folds down nicely. Run this through. And, ah, there we go. Same here. <clears throat> Place the bend forward. out of the way as possible. <coughs> Pretty good. So next, it looks like this, you know. Made this little button, something real simple. Put some slits in there. That'll go up the back of your heel. Just a little button like this, nothing fancy. Put a couple slits here. And uh, do the same on this side, and then I'll show you the next step. straight because why not so what we do is we're gonna put a hole here a hole here and a hole here and then put a tie there when you cinch that up you'll have a nice ski see what I mean mm. so that's what we're doing next hole in the middle there and on the sides here. Always got to be careful not to overcut, slice through your leather. So there now you got your set up here. Of course if you get different size boots you can always cut new slits in here, adjust. But for what I have here. Trim that off. Look at that. Nice. Click the pop 
on and off. Now, the only thing that I don't have right now is a lot of times what you'll want right here is another piece of uh, shin hide you put here or a, a, a piece of rubber that's got a lot of bounce in it because you don't want to just because what will happen here is snow will get under your boot and make a lump and it'll be annoying. Uh, so if you have the fur on there or the rubber that has a little give to it, it causes movement and that snow will stay out from under your foot. Uh, I don't have a good option for that right now, so I'm going to wait. In the meantime, that's that. So we're pretty much done here with the skis minus the little foot pad but uh, we got a few experiments running as you know made out of cedar experiment epoxying on this cloth and using the goat hide so we'll a few experiments going but again I'll show you how to put them on Wrap that around your ankle, tie, and you can just... So, you got it really nice and secure. You can easy to pick up, they are nice and light. If you have to go backwards, you can go backwards. There you go. Now we just need snow. <laughs> All right, guys, so there's my whole video on Siberian hunter skis. I really hope you try them out. Obviously, you can see what I did, and don't let perfect be the enemy of getting them done, because I know if you do make a set and you find yourself in that deep winter snow, you're going to love them. They're a lot more fun than snowshoes and uh, more effective. So... Uh, try to make yourself a pair and I wish you guys good luck and thanks for watching. Cheers.